Hello everyone, if I got some breaking news for you. Well, I was listening to the radio in my gas-powered truck, and the Biden administration has just announced that they are going to phase out coal, period. Not exaggeration, the game is in effect. They're going to phase it out by 2035. Now, John Kerry made an announcement in the COP28 that the coal fire power plant pledge by 50 other nations will be to, to, to get rid of the uh, fossil fuel in which harms the planet and our future, as he put. So, how are they going to do this? Well, they're going to take away subsidies to the coal power industry. They are also uh, say that these plants are going to get more and more subsidies for going to green energy. Great. On top of that, there is a Brooklyn, New York company that has private and government funding as a startup that has done 1,200 buildings in New York City and has two dozen other cities across the United States that are very interested in them. This company is called Block Power. Now, what do they do? Well, Block Power goes to your facilities, your landlord, your homeowner, whatever it is, and they say, look, you have a lot of uh, gas, coal fire, um, furnace, uh, gas stove, possibly wood burner. They haven't discussed those plans yet, but I know they have been talking about, they just haven't put out their ideas yet on that. So, um, this company is going to come in and they're going to give you an evaluation. And when you accept the evaluation, say your landlord, you got uh, 125 units. Uh, you got a uh, three story uh, square foot building and you discuss it with them and you say, great, do it. Okay. Well, it's. What they're doing is they're giving you the unit and as they quote, a lease to own. It's at a 10 to 15 year base and they're gonna do all the maintenance on it. So they're gonna use a digital reader and this reader is going to give feedback to their um, hub and their hub's going to say hey schedule for maintenance and IT or whoever comes out the tech worker comes out and he does the scheduled maintenance and be done well you're going to be paying a monthly fee it's going to basically a subscription plan really what it is because at the end of 15 years you think this unit's going to be great no they're going to make it buy the new unit because this unit is going to be falling apart. So who's, in, so who's investing in this company? Well, I did some research on that. And they don't call these people investors. They call them stakeholder capitalists. Hmm. wonder where we've heard that word before. No wonder. Well, Carl Schwab maybe? But um, you're going to pay the fee. 
to that company. They're going to give it to their stakeholder capitalists, which are Microsoft, a big name, the government, the United States government, a big name, and, and Amazon. Now, Amazon is helping them out. And how they're helping them out is they spent $5 million and they digitally mapped 125 million buildings, as they put it, across the United States to be environmental standards of the future. Hmm, that, that sounds great. That sounds like a vague term, too, because uh, every year that could change. I mean, you know, everything changes. So what, so what Amazon is giving you is a packet and it'll say, well, this is what you need for your home or business or whatever. And they're giving it to you for free. Cause you know, Jeff, he's all about the environment. So he's going to just give this to you and you can do whatever you need to do with it as his recommendations. Great. That's just great. On top of that, the WEF, which of course they had their hands in a cookie jar, why not? They have they have a woman, or she could be binary, I don't know. I don't want to be messing with that. But her name is Alana, and I'm not going to say her last name because I'll butcher it, so sorry. But... She is, and I am not exaggerating on this one, the Office of Heat. It's a nice title. What is that title? Uh, better yet, you know, instead of calling her that, they should just call her the Chief Manager of the Gates of Hell because that's what you're going to feel like after you pay for all this stuff. Because... They haven't even told you the grand total yet, and I haven't found that either. But what her thing is, is she's part of what's called Resistance City Network. That's a nice word. That's another climate agenda. What she is doing is she's doing the cost benefits. Not to you, saying, hey, this is going to save you a lot of money. It's it's to the planet. Um, it, it's all about your carbon credits. The more you have installed, the more credits you'll have. And less likely that your negative credit will be affected on your credit score. Ain't that nice? She's looking out for you. And the planet. So, better get out there and thank her. One, one other thing, too. Carrie said at the COP28 is that you know, America is at the green agenda path of success. So, that's all I got. If you guys like this content, please give a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell if you would, please. See you later. Bye.